It has been a terrible time to be a Star Wars fan, and Lucasfilm loves to release bad projects. Now, I know a lot of people were excited for Obi-Wan. I was excited for Obi-Wan, and I hoped that it would be great, and we still got a few episodes left of the season, so I'm not completely giving up hope for the show yet, but the first few episodes haven't been good. Reva seems like a mediocre villain, Leia's a bit too punchy for being a 10-year-old, the chase scenes have been horrendous, and overall, it's been a pretty forgettable experience, and I'm not the only person who disliked what we've seen so far because Obi-Wan's audience scores are plummeting now that the third episode is out. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with this Cosmic Book News article. It says fans disapprove of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars. She has been terrible for this franchise. Unfortunately, I've talked about it before, when Disney initially bought Lucasfilm, I was hoping that they were going to throw so much money at this company and put so much more money into this franchise and we were going to get such amazing content. And unfortunately, nothing's gone the way that we expected. It says the Obi-Wan Kenobi series looks to be another big bust for the Disney Plus streaming service as fans continue to voice their disapproval of Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars. Now, I was excited for this series. I didn't think that it was going to come out and be amazing and fantastic and perfect because, again, this is Lucasfilm we're talking about. But I didn't think that it was going to be this bad and people were going to dislike it this much. It says, with episode 3 released on Wednesday, Obi-Wan Kenobi only has a 58% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, which is even worse than the Book of Boba Fett's 59%, and of course is a lot worse than Jon Favreau's The Mandalorian at 91%. Regarding the disapproval, it seems to be another case where Kathleen Kennedy is destroying a classic Star Wars character with Obi-Wan, which follows Kennedy destroying Luke Skywalker in the Disney Star Wars trilogy and the destruction of Boba Fett. I am so Sick and tired of seeing all of these amazing characters be taken, twisted around, and thrown in the trash. I love these characters so, so much, and I am so sick and tired of getting bad content with them and seeing these characters just ruined. Obi-Wan is shown to be quite depressed and apparently has stopped using the Force in his 10 years of hiding, where he regularly goes to work, goes into town, and has conversations with Uncle Owen, yet he doesn't know Anakin is still alive and now goes by Darth Vader. Yeah, it does seem a little bit bizarre to me that he's doing all of these things when he's supposed to be in hiding, he's not supposed to really be talking to anyone, he's supposed to just be keeping to himself, and I obviously understand that he has to go sometimes into town to get things done, but seriously, he just, like, works a normal job, is around people constantly. It doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people. Now, heading on over to a Bounding Into Comics article, it says audience scores plummet for Obi-Wan Kenobi show after episode 3 debut, and they do show off some Rotten Tomato scores, and I am going to read some of the audience reviews in a moment, but as it says, it's got an 87% critic score and a 56% audience score, which is absolutely terrible. Yes, obviously, um, if we look at the 87% from critics, usually critics rate shows like this pretty high. They usually love shows that audiences tend to dislike, but the audience score is really, really bad. I mean, a 56% is not good. Anything under a 70 actually is pretty bad. I mean, look at Netflix. They don't renew anything that has an under 70%. Look at Cowboy Bebop. They decided to not renew Cowboy Bebop, and it had like a 60 five percent at one point that was its high and they said nope we're not going to do a season two 
They also show off the Metacritic scores. It says on Metacritic, the user scores are even worse than on Rotten Tomatoes. The show has a user score of 3.7 from 113 ratings. There are 27 positive ratings, 15 mixed, and 71 negative. Now, heading on over to Rotten Tomatoes, I wanted to read just a couple of the user reviews because clearly people are not enjoying this series. There are some people who like it, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying every single person on this earth hates it but there's a lot of negative reviews pouring in as episodes are continuing people are disliking it more and more so the first review here says this show has actually exceeded my expectations and how bad it is the cg looks like a sci-fi show from the early 2000s the writing is childish and nonsensical in the extreme and the acting is woefully dreadful a one out of five stars there are actually two five stars here praising this series saying incredible season so far three episodes to go and i can't wait to see what happens and the next one says amazing series this is what star wars is all about you're going to notice a lot of the positive reviews generally say the same things like amazing series incredible season if you like this series that's awesome good for you i'm not trying to change your mind on it i personally just think that it's really bad it's very underwhelming it's not what i expected this show to be the next review is a half star out of five. It says, I only made it to episode three and I'm done. Disney, why are you doing this to us? I just wanted a show about Obi-Wan Kenobi protecting and taking care of Luke. Another half star out of five. Who wrote this mess? It's full of plot holes. It contradicts the movies and turns Obi-Wan into Luke Skywalker circa The Last Jedi. Now, I hate using the word cringe, but whenever I hear The Last Jedi, I cringe. That was a awful movie, terrible product. I want to pretend like it doesn't exist, but when we see bad Star Wars content release, it's all I can think about it. It honestly makes me a bit sad. A one and a half star out of five. Another destruction of a strong character to build up a new one is a social commentary. These episodes have Kathleen Kennedy fingerprints all over it. She just doesn't know what she's doing with Star Wars. She has just completely killed this franchise for so many people clearly there are a lot of people who dislike this series and i understand why i tried to give it a chance and i'm still going to continue watching it just so i can talk about it in my videos and i have a fully formed opinion of my own on this series but it's bad and fans are extremely disappointed with this kathleen kennedy star wars project do i think it's going to get better in the last three episodes I don't think so. I think that they've already screwed up enough and we can see the direction they're going in, but only time will tell just how bad it is. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video. Really soon.